Chris from Good Roads. I'm working on the second set of 3D printed skateboard molds and I wanted to take a quick minute to make a video about a technique that I developed for introducing internal features on a part that's printed in vase mode. That's right, this piece was printed in vase mode and it's got all kinds of internal structure. So let me just walk you through real quick what I did to make that happen. So the way it works is that the nozzle is still following a continuous path It looks something like this. And, and this is still a solid shape, which is why vase mode works. But as these lines get closer together, parts like this and this start to overlap. So the shape starts looking a little bit more like this, which is what we're looking at here. And you can see that even though these, these lines are really close together, they're still separate and can be pulled apart, which is, again, why vase mode works. But down at the bottom here, this loop has started to overlap with the line at the bottom of the part, and that is now solid. And as you continue to cinch this up and decrease that gap, these lines start to overlap. Then you're left with a double-walled part, but the walls fuse together and it becomes one solid piece that's got a lot of strength and rigidity to it. This is what the finished inside of the part looks like, and there's solid, separate cavities as you go through. And it was really advantageous as far as making sure that there weren't any blobs and that this, this was a pretty smooth surface because there's never any retraction. And with those big nozzles, you get a lot of like odd artifacts where the retraction comes in. And instead, this is just a solid, strong, internally supported part printed in vase mode. So in order to accomplish this in the software, after you've made your model, you just take some really narrow slices out of your part. Slices that are thinner than the width of your extrusion line. And when the nozzle goes to draw the edge of those slices, the extrusion from the nozzle will overlap and bind together, making it a single solid piece. And that's all there is to it. You can do some pretty complicated things with it. I've got voids in this part for some threaded rod and I've got some bolt hole drilling guides. And all I have to do to make this work is drill through and punch through the back where it overlapped. So I just thought it was a neat little trick. I thought other people might be interested in it. I figured I'd make a quick video while I'm still waiting for all the prints for the next part of this project. So um, tell me what you think. Yeah, internal features, phase mode. Pretty cool, go figure. I'll see you soon.